And one guy that we don't see is DeAndre Thomas, who transferred out of Homa because of storm damage as he's playing high school basketball in Houston. Wow, I was not aware of that. Uh, well, if he's listening, sorry for the circumstances, and best of luck to you in the rest of your career, sir. Yep, he's going to sign somewhere, no doubt. Hell of a player. Foul goal against Daniels. Tarpons left to right. Patriots right to left. BJ has a little jewelry on. Landed right here. I'll put that on eBay. Probably get some bids tonight based on how he plays. <laughs> we are in the way with the Tarpons controlling the tip. Savoir. The right side, just square on the baseline, inside to Daniels, at the rim, lays it up and in. An attackful move from Brandon Daniels. Royal Williams, cross midcourt. Ellender with a four guard lineup. Four guards and Falgu to Ryan Williams. Has it deflected and really stolen, but Ellender regains possession. Hampton to the corner they go. Now there's Bordo on the wing, left wing. Now to the left corner, Ryan Williams, a long three, missed it. Rebound goes to Daniels, a strong rebound. To Otan, two on two, Otan will pull it out. Get it to Jisquare. Vicious rebound from Daniels there. Jisquare, top of the key, loses his dribble, gets it back. Picks up his dribble to Lee on the left side, extended. Lee, top of the key, one minute in. To the right side, Daniels, a three, how about it? How about it? Give it to him. A long three from Daniels, and it's five nothing. Too much room. Royal Williams to Ryan Williams. Left side, that's an NBA three. Way off, rebound goes to Daniels. He's looking to push. Daniels gets it to Lee. Lee across the timeline on the right side of the floor. Working on Hampton to Otank. Extended on the baseline, right side. Top of the key, Savoy. Thinks about the shot, now pulls it out. Savoy loses it, Borda picks him clean and he's all by himself for a layup. Can't have the pick sixes. You don't mind turnovers, but open floor turnovers will kill you. Savoy to Jisquare, to Savoy, to Lee. Got to get it across to Otan. Otan to Savoy, top of the key three. No, rebound goes to Daniels, but he's going to commit a foul. On the offensive glass, B.J. Daniels commits his first foul of the game with 6.03 to go in the opening quarter. This. Tarpon's in. This looks like the 1 2 2 yeah, matchup zone as well. Yep. Royal Williams. Cross midcourt to Ryan Williams. Back to Hampton. Hampton's a young player. We haven't called him out in recent years. Royal Williams. To Ryan Williams, top of the key. Inside to the lane for a layup. Ooh, Florida. Good pass. Good finish. Got the tub sleeping on that one. 5 to 4. The team's exchanging buckets. Lee to Savoy. To Lee. Lee to Savoy across the timeline. Loses it, gets it back. Tries to force it to Daniels. Gets it back on the right baseline. Savoy gets him up in the air. Ooh. And will draw a foul. So Austin will be shooting too. Good move right there. Taylor, do you think that at some point in the game, Coach Scott's going to just say, hey, we're going to just stop pressing. Because like they're not getting steals. They're actually creating opportunities. Last year, they backed out of it in about the second quarter. Yeah, that, that, uh, that may be the smart route for Coach Scott to go tonight. Uh, because... The Tarps aren't having any any issues, like you said. I would, uh, I don't know. Whatever's a smart move, I hope it does the opposite. <laughs> Savon makes the first free throw. It's 6-4. to four. They're going to get Josiah Johnson in the game. Foul guru check out. Oh, Savon kind of dribbled off of his foot. Hope it doesn't mess up his routine. The second shot. He got it. No issues. The only thing it messed up was he didn't make it nothing but net. It hit a front of rim before going in. Borda. To Royal Williams, to the left wing, that's Hampton. Now top of the key, Royal Williams to Borda on the right wing. Borda looking to get it inside, reverses to Hampton, top of the key, back to Borda. Borda's got all their points in the game so far. Hampton getting it to Johnson. Skip past to Ryan Williams, inside to Borda, missed it. Put back is up and good by Royal Williams. Tuffin's got a box out there. Just clear to Savoy, to just clear. Just there to Lee. Now you got to get across. Lee got to get Savoy. He does. On the right side near midcourt. Savoy to Daniels. Daniels has been hot early. 
to the corner, Jisquare on the left side, to the top of the key, Savas deflected and stolen by Hampton. Hampton, top of the key, to Borda, attacks, gets him up in the air, reversing it to the right corner, that's Ryan Williams, and a foul, that's gonna be the second foul on Brandon Daniels, that's what the Tarpons did not want. BJ in early foul trouble with 4.20 to go. The Tarpons are going to have to play without him. Nick Coleman's going to check into the game. Some big minutes for the freshman. So a big 4.20 for the Tarpons here. Royal Williams, an NBA three. No, rebound goes to Borda. Borda backs down, shoots it up, and one. And there you see the difference. Daniels would have probably gotten that rebound. Instead, the yeah. second chance opportunity goes to Borda who's noticeably grown in the offseason. He wasn't that tall at the beginning of his career. He's had, a, had an extra inch or two. He's got one free throw here, six early points. Free throw is up and good. Seven early points. It's nine to seven. Just where? Ella the sticking to the full court press. Tarpon's got to find some offense with Daniels out of the game. Lee to Savo across the timeline. On the right side to Lee. Lee gets him up in the air to Jisquare in the corner. Jisquare to Lee, top of the key. To the left side, Jisquare. Jisquare, top of the key, Savoy. Savoy has two early points. 3.47 and counting in the opening quarter. Lee on the right side wing. Lee to the top of the key, Jisquare. To Savoy in the corner for a three. No, rebound goes to Borda. Borda getting it to Royal Williams. To Ryan Williams. Attacks the lane, drops it to Hampton for a layup that's up and good. Ellender dominating the paint offensively tonight. 3.20 to go, just square. Picks up his dribble to Lee. Lee to Savoy, across the timeline to the middle, Otan. Just square to Coleman on the left baseline. Coleman loses it, good hustle getting on the floor, but he's laying out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. I think Ellen, there's a bucket away from the Tarpons calling timeouts here. Yep. With Daniels in foul trouble, the Tarpons searching for answers. You're only down four, just keep fighting. Royal Williams coming the other way. And to the left side, that's Hampton. Back to Royal Williams. To the right wing, Borda. Reversing it to Ryan Williams. To the corner, Royal Williams. Now Ryan Williams in the left wing. Patient possession for Ellender to the corner, Borda. Patriots working around the perimeter. Borda in the corner on the right side for a three. Boy, he's got that look in his eye. He's got 10 early points. It's a timeout for South Lafourche. But it's 14 to seven, Ellender. Preston Borda, the senior. We asked Coach Kale in the pregame, hey, how do you slow him down? The answer so far is you haven't. He's got 10 early ones for Ellender. Yeah, man, he's, uh, he's a big-time player making big-time plays out there. South Lafourche has got to figure out something quickly because uh, no, with Brandon Daniels on the bench, um, you know, it's, it's a totally different game. It's easy to recognize right off the bat. Uh, South's got to figure something out. they got to play tougher defense, block out, you know, hold, hold that position and at least get it over the back call or something. you got to pull the momentum back. Survive this quarter. Get it down to five, something like that at the end of the first quarter. You get Daniels back out there. You see Coach Colley telling him right now, hey, we need you. Can't get any more fouls early. Salva just where Lee Otan Kural, who's now checked into the game. Just where to Lee. Coffin's got to get across. They do. Salva on the right side. Sava on the right side, attacks, gets into the lane, shoots it up, missed it, rebound goes to Ellen to Royal Williams. Williams pushing it to Hampton. Hampton kicks it out to Royal Williams, now Borda, boy, he's red hot, he missed it. Rebound goes over the back, Josiah Johnson commits the violation, and the Tarpons will have possession. Yep. Nice block out by Tyler Lee, textbook stuff right there. Had the block out, jumped up, drew it over the back. Lee to Jisquare, to Savoy, to Lee. Lee across midcourt in trouble. Throws it to Jisquare, top of the key. Jisquare steps into a three ball. We need it. He missed it. 
Rebound goes to Ellender, Royal Williams. Patriots looking to push. Across the timeline to Ryan Williams on the left side to the corner, Hampton all the way through. That's an offensive foul. Oh, they're going to call block. Oh, Tyler wore that one in the chest. And they're going to say it's a shooting foul, so Hampton will be shooting too. That, that was a tough one. A, uh, here's the thing, A was a charge, not a block. B, he drove the lane and passed the ball to the corner. He wasn't even shooting, so he missed it both ways. Hampton will be shooting too. Yep, that makes it bad. And he got the first one. Second shot is up. He missed that one. Rebound goes to Tyler Lee. Just clear. The Savo across the timeline on the left side. Tarpons need a bucket down eight. Just clear. To Lee. Oh, excuse me, to Kural on the wing. Kural top of the key. Has it taken away. Here come the Patriots. Hampton to Williams. Back to Hampton. Lays it up. Missed it. Rebound goes to Johnson. Johnson will throw it away to Savoy. Savoy will be fouled. That's a good foul by Ryan Williams. Because in the gate, it would have been a dunk by Austin Savoy. I don't know if you saw, he went down there and slammed it. Uh, I don't know if he would have had the courage to do it if he didn't get fouled. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, but he got up there. 15 to seven. Ellen there in front, 119 to go. It's the third team foul in the Patriots. Tarpons just need a bucket. Just square. Top of the key. Getting a screen, splitting the defense in the lane, and he's fouled. He'll be on the baseline. Fouls on five, Richard Hampton, the fourth team foul on the Patriots. Some fan behind us, I don't know who it is. Gave good advice, hey, keep attacking. Get yep. in the bonus, Lee. What you gotta do? Got to get it into the right corner. Savo attacks baseline, shoots it up, missed it. Rebound goes to Johnson. Johnson will throw it to Royal Williams across midcourt. To Johnson, inside they go to Hampton, who shoot a wild shot. No, rebound goes out of bounds to South Lafruit, up to Ellender. Yep. Thought he said white ball, but he points to Ellender, and I think it's the right call. I think Jackson Otang got a piece of it at the last second. Get it in to the corner. Johnson to Ryan Williams. Good pass to Borda. Borda is eating the Tarpons alive in this first quarter. He's got 12 points. It's 17 to 7. One thing you can't deny, Ellender moves the ball well. Yeah, they do. They share it well. Just square to Savoy. Savoy. Tarpons got to get across. Tarpons got to get across. That's 10 seconds. And you know the frustrating part about that, Taylor, there really wasn't any pressure. Yeah, they were just being too patient. So Ellender will inbound. Coach Scott saying, hey, let's hold it for one. They've got the arrow, a chance to get two possessions in a row here. No way they hold it for one. <laughs> Williams to Hampton. I don't know, I think they will. Pardon, Toppins aren't guarding them. Okay, yeah, yeah, they we're going to sit back in the zone. Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll hold it. Royal Williams with 12 on the clock. Coach Scott directing traffic. They get it to the corner. Borda to Hampton. To the corner, Johnson attacks into Borda. Lays it up. Offensive foul. It would have been an in one, but instead it's an offensive foul. Coach Collier thought there was maybe a little extra curricular there. Borda was jumping up and down, but it's just an offensive foul. Hell, we'll take it. It'll negate an in one. Yep. Three seconds for South Lafouche to come the other way. Lee, are the Tarpons aware? Just where? Got to shoot it up at the buzzer. No good. Our score after one. Ellender 17, South Lafouche 7. We'll be back in a minute with the second quarter. If you're listening to Varsity Basketball on KLEB. Glad to see he's back in the game. Let's see what he does. Williams to Williams. And it's nearly stolen by Tyler Lee deflected out of bounds. Good deflection. Tarpons have switched to man-to-man -man defense. Maybe try to limit Borders' touches, put their best defender Lee on him. Royal Williams to the left side wing area. That's Johnson. Johnson into the body of Daniels to Hampton. 
Hampton attacks, gets it to the lane, stolen by Savoy. Tarpons have numbers, Lee to Daniels. Daniels attacks the lane, shoots it up, no. Rebound to Savoy, who will lose it. Hampton has it for the Patriots. Hampton will throw it to Ryan Williams, who will pull it out. To trailing Royal Williams, missed it. Rebound goes, ooh, Daniels gotta be careful. Johnson's got it to Borda for a layup. 19 to seven, Preston Borda dominating this game. Daniels across midcourt. To Savoy. Savoy in trouble, getting very much harassed. The foul will be called on Hampton. Savoy has to be careful. Yeah. This, he was very flamboyant and saying, hey, I was being fouled. You don't want to get a foul plus a technical. Yeah, man, you got the call you wanted. That's the 16th foul on Ellen. You're shooting the rest of the half. Tarpon's just got to go on a little run here. The fouls are starting to pile up on the Patriots. Go on a little 6-0 run. Take a little momentum back. Daniels on the right side. Studying the floor to Lee on the left wing. Lee steps into one. No, rebound goes over the bucket. You know, Lee shoots it with such confidence. That's such a pretty shot. But he just can't seem to buy one this year. It's been tough going for him from behind the three-point line. Yeah. Royal Williams. Across the timeline. On the right side of the floor, they go to Terrell Carter, who's just checked into the game. Now to Royal Williams, getting to Borda. Ryan Williams attacks the paint, has it deflected. Carter backs down, gets away with a walk, gets it to Johnson for a three. No, rebound goes to Savoy. Savoy loses it, and Carter's got it for Allen. They're too much dribbling. Carter into the body of Jisquare, and they'll say play on after a layup. 21 to seven, this one's getting away from the top, and Savoy will draw a foul. It'll be a one and one. Austin Savoy will be shooting them. Like Austin attacking, but man, if he didn't get the foul right there, that's just a, another turnover that we can't have. That's that's a risky play right there. Salva shooting a one and one. The Tarpons desperately needed. I can't think of the last time they scored. Well, I can think of the last time they scored when Austin was shooting free throws. That was in the middle part of the first quarter. Yep. It's been almost a quarter long scoring drop for the Tarps. Salva squares it up and good. 25, Taj Lagarde checks in for the Patriots. Preston Borda checks out. You got to make this hurt. This is where you go in the run if you're South Hoosier Borda on the bench. Savoy shoots it up. He made them both. And it's a 12-point game. Royal Williams. Coming slow. Directing traffic. Across the timeline. To the left side to Ryan Williams. Ryan attacks off the dribble. Blocked by Otan. It'll go out of bounds, but a good hard block by Jackson. And Tarpons were fortunate because Austin Salva hit Williams in the head on the drive. Yeah, he <laughs> just didn't see it. Johnson to inbound, throws long to the rim, and it's an offensive foul. Good call. Daniels takes it in the chest, and we go the other way. The 18th foul on Ellender. But aside from the the body straight to the chest. He followed through with a stiff arm after. <laughs> what are you thinking? Just clear. To the left side, Daniels. Daniels on the wing, gets the top of the key, Lee. Lee to the right side, just clear. The top of the key, Daniels. Shot fake. Gets it deflected out of bounds. It'll stay here. 541 to go. Boy, you feel if the targets could just cut this to six. Yep. Just cut it in half, going, in, going into, the ha into half time. Salva on top of the key near midcourt. Tags the right side to just clear in the baseline. Inside to Daniels at the rim. He's crushed and they don't call anything. They'll say it's out of bounds to South Lafourche. Coach Colley not happy. There was a lot of contact there. Lee will inbound. Lee. Can we get it in to Savoy on the baseline? Savoy attacks, gets up in the air, missed it wildly. Borda. Yeah, Austin's trying to do too much. Borda on the right side to Ryan Williams. 
Inside they go. Lagarde backing down. Missed it. That should be over the back. They get away with it. Another chance. Missed it. Another chance. And it'll be missed again. Elmer still got the basketball. Borda, top of the key. Cubs got to block out on those, man. Can't stand and watch. You're not going to outjump these guys. Borda to Roy Williams on the left baseline. He attacks baseline all the way through. Offensive foul. Look, it's very simple. They're not disciplined enough to stop. They're going to run through you and commit charges over and over again. You just got to be disciplined enough to slide over and help. That's right. It's the ninth team foul. You're shooting two the rest of the half. 4.56 to go. Just clear. Ellen, they're out of the pressure because of the foul situation. Just clear, top of the key. Spreads the defense into the lane. Shoots it up. Missed it. That's just not a good possession. Ryan Williams. Getting it to Royal Williams. Ryan attacks the lane. Into the corner, they go for a three. That's way off. It's wedged in between the rim and the backboard corner on the miss. Taylor, you know the problem right now? Ellen is not scoring, okay, which is a great thing for South Lafouche. Yeah. But neither are the Tarpons. They're not trimming anything off of this deficit. Yeah, you got to be able to take advantage of whenever Ellen is in a drought. Just glare. Across the timeline to Q-Roll, to Daniels on the baseline. Daniels attacks the rim, blocked away. Ellender will save it. Ryan Williams coming the other way on the right side of the floor. To the corner they go Ryan Williams. Back to Ryan Williams. Long skip pass to the rim, blocked by Tyler Lee. And it'll go out of bounds. To whom? A technical foul on 20. Tyler Lee just got called for a technical foul and I have no idea for what. You know, when they call a charge on, on Preston Borda, he jumps up and down like he's having a seizure. <laughs> but when Tyler Lee blocks a shot and is happy about it, he gets called for a technical foul. That's an atrocious call. I'd love to hear the explanation. Coach Collie's going to get it right now, and I don't think he's going to like the answer. That was not a very good call. Especially given the emotion of the game so far. Both teams are being exuberant. Yeah, it's, it's too late to try to take control when you've completely lost it in the first minute of the game. The free throw is no good. They'll have one more shot and possession. And of anybody on this team, Tyler Lee's the last one who would be trying to yeah. do anything flamboyant to anybody. He makes the second shot. Coach Kali is a living. And Coach Kali has to be careful that he might not be the next one getting violated here. Oh, yeah. Twenty-two to nine, our score. Four ten to go in the second quarter. Ellen will possess. Roy Williams across midcourt to Ryan Williams. Top of the key, reversing his dribble, throws it away. Just glad has got it. Just glad being guarded by the whole Ellen the team, and he loses it out of bounds to the Patriots. Getting fouled. Coach Collar got to be careful. He is as angry as we've seen him in a long time. He's got to be careful. And he's got a right to be at this point. Royal Williams near midcourt. Oh, has a double dribble in this. My goodness. Ryan Williams on the right side to Borda. Top of the key three. Missed it. Rebound goes to Otan. Otan to Jisquare. Jisquare across the timeline to Otan. Otan to Lee, to Jisquare on the right side wing area for a three, in and out. Rebound goes to Borda. Just don't like the Tarpons offense, it's too rushed right now. Yeah. Williams, inside they go, now out to Roy Williams on the wing, to the right wing. Ryan Williams for a step back three, in and out, rebound to Jisquare. To Otan. Otan to Lee. Lee across the timeline. Well, that's a foul, man. Getting away with it. Attacking in transition. Daniels will take it away. Daniels will lose the dribble, get it back across midcourt to the corner. Just clear. Inside to BJ at the rim, lays it up and in. 
Ooh, we needed that in a big way. It's only an 11 point game. The Tarpon defense playing well, just not able to score. Royal Williams across midcourt. Coach Colley urging his team to D up. Williams near midcourt. Now to the left side of the floor. Top of the key, Ryan Williams. Inside the goal, deflected out of bounds to South Lafourche. At least we think. Austin Salva will check back into the game. Two twenty-one to go in the second quarter. The Tarpons trying to cut it back to single digits. <laughs> I like what Coach College just did right there. Well, he wanted to kick it. <laughs> the ball was at his feet. He could have very easily gotten into the official. No sir, no dice, not today. You get down here and pick it up. <laughs> just clear across midcourt, top of the key, extended near the free throw line to Daniels on the right side to the corner. Lee, Lee inside to Otan. And it's a foul. Probably not a foul, a steal rather. And a quick block by Dan Lewis. Johnson gets it inside and it's going to be a foul on South Lafouche. They got it inside. Daniel swatted it. Ellender got the ricochet. And then Otan commits the foul. It's the 16th foul. They actually said the foul is on just there. 1.59 to go in the opening half. Johnson to inbound. Tarps got to play solid defense here. The possession's not over. They get it to Hampton. Hampton. On the left side wing area. Working on Jisquare. Hampton. Now to midcourt. Attacks. Pulls it back. Top of the key they go. Ryan Williams penetrates. Kicks inside for a shot that's no good. Rebound goes to Daniels. Boy, that's just a lot of contact. Finally, a foul is called. B.J. Daniels will be shooting two. Oh, man. It's ugly, Case. It's ugly. B.J. will be shooting two. This has turned into a rugby game. Tarpons need to convert them at the line. B.J.'s going to get an angry momentum changing dunk tonight. Yeah, he will. Allen has scored. 17 points in the first quarter. They've only scored five here in the second. You're playing championship level defense. The problem is you're not scoring. Daniels, first free throws of the game tonight. It's up and it's out. That's two shots, it's double bonus. What happened to, I know the officials want it to still be one and one, but it's two shots. My goodness. I Wake saw up. I saw the same horrible official that's been killing us all game. Call one and one right before. Wake up. One more shot coming for Daniels. He's over one in the line. Got to convert this one. It's up. And he missed them both. Just been one of those nights for the Tarpon offense. Man, we got to make it. But Lee steals it and lays it up and in. The first quote unquote cheap points of the night for the Tarpons. You need to steal a few like that. Ryan Williams across the timeline. Picks up his dribble. Getting close to the guard. He gets it to Hampton. Hampton attacks, penetrates. Kicks it to the corner, stolen by Lee. Lee gets it to Jisclair. Jisclair to Savoy at the rim, lays it up and missed it. Savoy gets it back at the rim, lays it up and missed it. Daniels fighting for the rebound, Board has got it. You gotta make point blank layups. Board on the right side of the floor. Pulling the ball out, 44 seconds on the clock. And we have a double foul. Called on Ellender and South Lafouche both. So Taylor, how does this work? If it's double bonus for Ellender and single bonus for South Lafouche, do they shoot a one and one and talk and shoot double? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I literally don't know. I don't know if he's play ball. I don't know, man. That's a... Yeah, just play on. 43 seconds on the clock. They get it in to Hampton. 
to Johnson, who puts it in. So Ellen gets a bucket, Josiah Johnson. Oh man, Austin Savoy's got some serious blood running down his tights on his right knee. Yeah, he does. 30 seconds to go in the half, just clear. To Savoy. Savoy attacks. Trapped in the corner and a foul is called. It'll be two shots, we hope, for Austin Savoy. This is where they're gonna catch the blood. Twenty-one point nine to go. Austin will be shooting two. And Taylor, you're right. He is noticeably bleeding. First shot is good. It's a ten-point game. Tarpons feel like they're down twenty. They're only down ten. Just kind of hanging around. Yep. Still very much in reach. Second shot is up and good. And Coach Collier, I think we'll get Daniels out of the game. That's a great sub. You get him to the lockers with only two fouls. That's a great sub. Yep. Now you get one more stop, 21.9. That Borda coming across the timeline with 15 on the clock. Tubbs got to play defense here and block out. Allen is not going to wait till one second. They, there's going to be some time. Borda on the right side, picks up his dribble, throws it away. Oh, no saves deflected out of bounds, 4.7 to go. Johnson, don't give up defensively. As you said, the possession's not over. Johnson to Borda. Borda drops it to the post. Hampton shoots it up at the rim and got it. And that'll be our score at halftime. Ellen to 26, South Lafouche 15. We'll be back with our halftime show. You're listening to Varsity Basketball on KLEV with the Patriots out front here on 102.7 FM. Terrebonne General Health System, Community Sports Shift there, Savoy, Daniels, Otan Lee out there for Ellen, there's Johnson, Royal Williams, Ryan Williams, Hampton, and Borda. All right, we rock on. Royal Williams. Tarps coming out straight, man-to-man -man defense. Into the left side, Hampton. Hampton looks to penetrate, top of the key. To Ryan Williams, attacks the left side into the lane to the post, but missed layup. Second chance is up and good. There's our guy Borda again. I did not think that he would be an inside weapon like this tonight. He is really playing the role of a post very well. Otan calls the timeline. Gets it to just play top of the key. To the left side, Lee steps into a three ball. Nope, rebound goes to Daniels. Daniels is at the rim, lays it up, missed it. Rebound goes to Ellen. There'll be a salvo on Daniels. We're fighting one another for it. Borda to Ryan Williams on the left baseline. To Borda, now top of the key, Royal Williams to Hampton on the right baseline. Hampton attacks, shoots the floater, and got it. A 4 0 run out of the lockers for Ellen there. Tarpon's got to have it, and they got to have it right now. Salvo to just square. Cross midcourt, and he double dribbled. That's an unforced turnover. There's no defender even near him. Yeah, can't do that. 6.56 to go in the third quarter. Ellender starts the quarter on a 4-0 spurt. Yeah, and Ellender's press defense wasn't exactly a strong one, right? It was more of a three-quarter court relax, dare you to cross kind of thing. And, and uh, shouldn't have forced that turnover for sure. Royal Williams near midcourt. Top of the key to Hampton on the left side. Hampton using the pick. Tax, spins, shoots a mid-range over the OTAN, missed it. Rebound goes to Ellender. They kick it out. Roy Williams to Ryan Williams, an NBA three. Missed it. Rebound goes to Ellender. Hampton missed it. They've got it back, back and down. Missed it, got it back, back and down. Shooting it up, no. Rebound goes to Daniels. That's just atrocious rebounding from the Tarpons. Daniels throws to Jisquare across the timeline. Tacks the left side of the floor all the way through. Drops it to Otan who lays it up and in. 30 to 17, still very much in reach for the Tarps. Royal Williams on the left side to the corner. Ryan Williams on the baseline, attacks baseline. Kicks it to the corner, Hampton. Hampton penetrates all the way through, offensive foul. Yep, good job by Tyler Lee, get in position. You see Royal Williams telling Hampton, hey, stop and kick it out. 
Well, Royal, you haven't done it either, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just there, to Savoy. Across the timeline, Lee on the right side, extended. Lee penetrates a little, throws it to Just Square, top of the key, Lee again. Into the high post, Otan. Otan gets up in the air to Just Square on the left side. Just Square shoots a mid range, splash. A 4 0 run for South Lafouche. Good shot right there. It's an 11 point game. You just get the feeling if the Tarpons have one run in them, they can make this super interesting. Absolutely. Still with a straight man here. Well, he's done a good job slowing Borda down a little bit. Borda penetrates, gets it to the corner. Williams, Williams to Borda, attacks and loses it. They're fighting for it. Ellender's got it. Now Hampton splits the lane, shoots a floater, got it. Man. Richard Hampton's a good player, but Taylor too many times tonight, there's been a loose ball and a guy in red coming away with it. Got to get those 50-50s. Lee to Gisquare. Gisquare picks up his dribble to Savoy across the timeline. Savoy attacks the right side and throws it away. Austin has been tremendous all season, but boy, the game has kind of sped up for him tonight. And he's had some careless turnovers, including there. Coach Kyler will call a 30-second timeout. Taylor, it feels like it's been a 13-point game the entire game. Yeah, the Tarps just can't quite snatch that momentum back. They looks like they're about to go on a little run, and then Helena gets three or four offensive rebounds in a row, and you know get, gets a putback, or they drive to the middle of the lane and get a little floater. Do you expect the guy to miss? I mean, it's uh, it's everything. It's so close. It's so right there. It's right at the fingertips, man. We're one or two big plays away from taking it back. They just, they gotta find it. They gotta want it. They gotta yeah. want it, it's the first thing. Yeah, the effort on the defensive end when the ball's on the floor, you gotta secure possession, dive on the floor. You gotta have better effort if you wanna come back here. Yeah. Ryan Williams win down the ball to Ryan Williams. Tarpon's backing out, and they'll let them come across half court. Ryan Williams with two points in the game. Across the timeline, tags the right side, gets inside three-point line to Johnson into the lane, shoots it up, and we have an offensive foul. The Ellen fans don't like the call. Well, we didn't like a whole lot of calls tonight, either, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Daniels maybe was leaning back a hair. He was certainly there. Just there, cross midcourt. Loses his dribble, is trapped in trouble, gets it to Lee. Lee near midcourt. Lee is trapped and in trouble. Gets it to the left side, Savoy. Savoy attacks the lane, shoots it up and in. Big bucket from Austin Savoy. But here's the problem, you're playing score for score. Now you gotta get a stop and add another score to it. Yep. Need a few stops in a row here. Gotta start somewhere, let's start now. Royal Williams midway through the third. Tarpon's down 11. Attacks the left side of the floor. Reversing it to Borda. Borda extending near midcourt. Getting it to the right side, Ryan Williams. Also near midcourt. Ryan penetrates, Savoy picks it from him. And who good hustle. Ball goes out of bounds to Ellen, but Austin nearly got to that one. Timeout by Coach Scott. Yep, that I know exactly what, what you're laughing at. Exactly what it looked like. <laughs> Ellender leading by 11 and half. They lead by 11 now. Tarpons have been waiting all game for just that 6-0 run. Get it to a two-possession game. Make them fight. 3.39 to go in the third. Ellender will possess out of the timeout. Taylor defensively. Ellender scored 17 points in the first quarter. They've scored 15 points since, so you're playing better defense. Yeah, yeah. It's improving. Now, an Ellender assistant coach was just very animated talking to the officials about something. I firmly expect the officials to now be intimidated and give Ellender every call the rest of the game. We'll see how that goes. It, it, whatever the discussion was, it led to a conference. So we'll see. <sighs> Three thirty-nine to go. 